Recording has started. Thank you. Should we just answer the question that they're coming on over? Yeah, I think so. Interesting. watching ourselves not hearing it go not hearing it go how come we don't get these facts? Separate him up there. Yeah. Turn the speakers down. Uh, sorry, around. sorry about that, guys. We didn't scroll to the bottom, so we <laughs> didn't really see what was going on. Um, Watson's gonna be here hopefully in the next ten minutes. He's uh, coming from Claremont. He was out there all day. And uh, is it working? Can you guys hear us? Are you telling us to turn our speakers off? What's up from Jersey? What's up, guys? How do you tell yes, we're you we're on a Mac. It's kind of weird reading the questions rather than. Uh, anyway, yeah, we did uh, didn't get a chance to ride today as as Florida's looking right now. It's freezing cold and it was about 40 mile an hour winds all day, so we uh, kind of took the day off. But it's supposed to be better tomorrow. Get back on the water. Yeah, it's pretty much like a mini hurricane, but yeah, we had a little bit of a cold front come in, so next few days it should be a little, yeah, a little blown out. Seemed like we we're almost over the winter time here, but you know, got back from Arizona and it was windy. Wussies, real nice. Yeah, I used to be from Oregon. He's in Canada. We used to be able to ride in the cold, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, especially when it's hot here. Especially when it's hot here too often. I'm Canadian, he's from Oregon. So half half Canadian. Okay. Kaden, what's up buddy? How you doing? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh Wake Lab Wake Lab was a really cool event. It was um it was put together great. Um the the course is amazing, the uh, the system that pulls at the such tech is amazing and you know couldn't have had a better time out there. You got Aaron gets to watch the magic game. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right now we're working on, uh, Chad's been filming a bunch for the Billabong video. Um, yeah, we're, do with that. yeah, I've been just non-stop pretty much all, all winter long working on, uh, Out of the Pond. And, uh, you know, Jack's been pretty busy himself. Yeah, I've been just filming a lot of, like, stuff for my sponsors. Been doing, been, went on a bunch of trips for Red Bulls and filmed for them and... Sounds like sounds here. like sounds like Watson's here. I'll go grab him, Jackie. Watson's here. He was at dinner out in Claremont with someone, but uh, he's here now. Competition plans? Yeah, Chad was just at Wake Lab. Watson was out there too. Uh, there was also the Windermere Wake Fest this weekend, and then uh, season's just now getting started. But we have the Wake Games are coming up towards the end of the month, and everything's just starting to happen. So, getting there. Paul's calling the Watson yet. No he, uh, 
It was Jack's brother. Jack's brother's in town for a <clears> few days. Of course, he picked the coldest time of year. <laughs> yeah, I think he brought the cold weather with him. Uh, as far as competition was planned, uh, yeah, there's weight. Oh, you already answered that, didn't you? Yeah, just telling him you were at Wake Lab and then got weight games coming up. Uh, let's see. Watson's girlfriend coming. <laughs> <laughs> Watson's girlfriend coming with him. Uh, who knows? We'll uh, <laughs> we'll see in a few minutes here. Yeah, I'll be at the box of fun for me. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. I mean, those guys have been working real hard on that video, and it's just from the little footage that I have seen. It looks like it's going to be a really good video. So, do you happen to play hockey? Yeah, I um I actually do play hockey. Uh, pretty much, you know, for December and January, I'm at the rink about I don't know, five days a week, and just uh, trying to trying to do cardio on the ice rather than going to the gym. Anything to stay out of there, and it's uh it's good. It's one of my favorite things to do other than wakeboard. Was the pizza man at the door? No, that's uh Jack's brother. <laughs> What team do I play on? I uh, I play on actually uh, two different teams. I play in Kissimmee on the Stars, which is like a men's hockey league team, and then in Orlando, in Orlando, I uh, drop in on the Cams in the Elite League uh, every Sunday. The first hand. Yeah, the part the. Yeah, the party barge. Party barge was for uh, my first hand. Uh, had this awesome ramp built, and uh, the guys at Step Productions built it for me, and just had a little party at the house, and everyone came and had a few beers on the barge. Well, I got to wakeboard, so it was a it was a good time had by all, I think. It was cool. I actually used it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh, we've been. Well, it's the cool thing is it's sitting right on a Watson. Yeah, <laughs> the the ramp's sitting well, right right on the shore here, so I mean well, yeah. we're not allowed to keep it on the water, but you know every once in a while we'll just, just drag it this. out and hit it whenever we need it, and it's perfect. Oh, uh, thanks a yeah. lot. I was, I was psyched on the first hand. Eric Hemans did a, an amazing yeah. job editing it, and I was just really psyched that Fuel decided to pick me. So yeah, well I'd be Brostock. I'll definitely be at Brostock. Um, there's again another <laughs> cash prize contest. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a double up contest or what kind of contest it is, but uh, yeah, I had a great time last year and hope hope to have the same this year. Uh, knees knees were definitely good after the after the jump. I uh, tweaked my hips a bit. Jack, show us your arm. Yeah, uh, Saturday, Chatham just got two new Galaxy tubes from Radar. And they're these big tubes. They got like three big, it's just this huge, massive tube. And Chad ordered two of them and stacked them on top of each other. And he's been taking photos from them. From Caden's taking some shots. And then Chad went out of town. I decided to take them out. And uh, I got both tubes. And I stood up on top of the tubes with, the, with my rope and the handle and everything. And I was going to ollie off the tubes and land on the downside of the wake. But like before I even got started, I got ready to go. And I, as soon as I stood up, the tube slipped. And it like threw me into all the ropes and I got hung up, my wrap my arm wrapped around the hand or my arm got wrapped up. And you can see it. It's it's getting a little better now, but it's all like bruised up. <laughs> that thing's got some color it's to it. Kind of nasty. <laughs> but it's getting better. Kate no, that's cool. Kate will be on air tomorrow. Single person roller coaster? Yeah, that thing's awesome. They built that out at Parks and Chains house. So fun. We're going to try to build some more out of the projects and that was just kind of like the first test run, but that thing's really fun. What's your short spot on PP? Short spot. Oh, oh yeah, the, if you go to the, the frame section then you're in, in, in push process. Oh, push process. Yeah, yeah. That, um, yeah, Jack, Jack and Watson built a fun rail to hit. Yeah. Did you tell them about the trip to Texas? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to... Anyone here from Texas? or Got to go to Texas. Uh, I'm going to get back to that pointless question. Hold on a sec. But uh, got to go to Texas uh, about a month and a half ago and um, got to gap up, up a, up a gap rather than down a gap. I dra dragged that ramp I jumped over the barge with and was doing step-ups over top of the... over top like a 40-foot long, 15-foot high 
gap instead of going down going up but uh, I just saw a question about pointless and definitely it's real soft plans as it is but I mean everyone's kind of fin finishing up with their video projects and um, I don't know there's been a little chatter going around that you know us boys at pointless might uh, might start uh, dusting off the cameras and you know seeing what we can uh, seeing if we can start laying down footage definitely no no nothing to do with any video date or anything but there, there's been a bit of chatter about it yeah there should be getting some good stuff Shane's been pretty busy like just brainstorming he's got some good ideas so there definitely should be some stuff in the works yeah I mean with the, with the crew I think everyone's I think everyone's hungry it's been a been a bit of a Bit of a hiatus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone as as you get older and your sponsors evolve, you evolve with your sponsors. You just get so tied up doing anything. I mean, when's the last time you got to yeah just go film and you haven't been working? Let's see. Uh, having my own pro model, it's Jack. You have one too. I mean, same way. Like, haven't seen someone ride on it. It's just it's awesome. You get you get sight too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I will be at Wake Stop Channel too. That's a really fun event. Uh, uh go on. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's super cool. I mean, for those of you who've been there, but for those of you who haven't, like, it's got a bunch of bands and there's so much going on all weekend. Like, it's one of the busiest weekends. Like, you got to run around everywhere. Like, they got rail jams and the slider contest and the weight contest and all kinds of stuff. It's a really fun yeah, weekend. Yeah, you're bouncing around from yeah. spot to spot, island to island. Like, there's a ton, ton of people there. that come there too. That's a good event. Yeah. Uh, the Viva is my new pro, mo pro model. It's uh, definitely the most psyched I've ever been on a board. Um, got a uh, real so like more of a soft 45 degree edge on it. Super forgiving, a little looser and poppier than a board that I tend to ride, but it uh, it's still it's still pretty quick. But it's just the, the popping. It's amazing. I've just uh, the tricks. My tricks feel so much better, and it's just so much more floaty. Uh, do you you hit the single portion roller coaster? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah, we covered that. That's fun. What do we got? How much were the tickets, Caden? Is Caden actually at the game? Wow. <laughs> uh, you guys coming to Wake Stock in the UK? Yes, I got an, uh, possibly. I got an email about it the other day, and uh, as long as it's not linked up with any other events I have to do, I'd love to make it. I know Adam Arrington and you know a bunch of the young guys went last year, and they couldn't say better things about it. Yeah, it should be fun. I, I'm actually thinking about going too. We haven't like set anything in stone, but we're thinking about bringing some of the Oakley guys over there. And I think Lyman and Rathy went last year, and I might go over there with a few of those guys this year. So it should be fun. Yeah, I guess it's during like a massive concert. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it sounds like a cool event. They had Duffy last year. Oh yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess uh, Adam got on stage and yeah. called her back on stage yeah. when they were doing awards. <laughs> so uh, let's see, who do who do we look up to? Uh, to me, definitely family, friends, people who are pushing the sport. You? Yeah, same family and friends, and I don't know. I've been down here for six years, so I look up to the people that were looking after me. So, kind of goes both ways. Nice. Does Rathy ever smile? Yeah, he's, <laughs> I see him laugh a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's just he's definitely serious about his riding, and you know it goes to show he's killing it these days. And what's your favorite section, film, and rider? a tough one my favorite video like growing up was probably 12 honkies sideways did that one i don't know, i really like that one just because they put like a lot of like kind of made it like its own little movie outside of wakeboarding and had like script to it so i thought that one was really cool don't really have a particular favorite section but i really like that video and then of course all the ones that i've helped out with i like those ones too yeah, I mean, there's there's so many over the years. I definitely one that uh, that I watched a lot over and over when I was young was uh, Byerly and High Wake Drifters. That section was amazing. It was mm -hmm. just, you know, you had the whole video and everyone was killing it, and then like half the tricks he was doing, they like never yeah. seen them before. And then you watched it a few more times, and it was mostly switch. And I mean, and that was so many years ago, like probably what ninety in the nineties. That's just how old it was. Time, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a cool gap. Remember seeing our queen is grown. Uh, what are the biggest things you've learned in that time? Well, if it was an it was article when I was a grom, I mean, I'm definitely. It's been a few years since then. I think uh, just you know, just it's 
more learning how the sport's evolving and just, you know, changing with it and, you know, trying to grow with it. Is Rathi a funny guy? Yeah, Rathi's awesome. The, yeah. the kid loves wakeboarding more than anything. Like, he'll ride all day, every day. And he's really funny. He's, he's a good kid. Whose push processing section do you like the best? Um, that's a tough question. I can't really pick one because, you know, I was with them, all of them for filming, and they all worked so hard on it. And I kind of liked them all just because at the end of the day, like, as soon as the video's done, Justin showed it to him, and, and Justin helped him lay it down, and they were all, like, super pumped on their section. So I can't, like, go over and pick one. Like, everyone was really happy, and just to see everyone, like, proud to what they did all year, like... I liked how fun your section was. Mm -hmm. It was definitely real upbeat and like kind of made you want to go out and wakeboard. Like it was, yeah, yeah. it was like you know, it was kind of like riding. It was all the pretty much Hiawassee guys. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we're right here on Lake Hiawassee. <laughs> it's, and uh, at that time, I mean, there were definitely a lot more guys living on it. And yeah. Yeah. Just, if you don't know, this is where Chad and I live. We live on Lake Hiawassee. We've been here. Chad's been here six years. Six maybe? years. I've been here. I lived with Parks down the street. There used to be a bunch of us here. It was Parks, Chad, Danny, Rusty, myself, Watson, Ruck, Ruck Tino, yeah, Randy's nice. lived here. Um, you said Rusty and Danny. Yeah. yeah. There's been a ton of people, but right now it's just me, Chad, and Watson on the lake. And Chris O'Shea just moved in yeah. with Watson, actually. So we got Oshizi out here, and it's just awesome place to ride, you know. It's yeah. pretty it's much really private unless you live on it. And so I live a few houses down. And it's our spot. What's it like to ride with your idols? Uh, it's really fun. My, I mean, at first it's kind of a little intimidating, but once like these guys like just help you so much, so it, it's really cool to be out with all all my friends. Like, it's not like any pressure or anything. Like they're helping you every time you ride. So and that's how it is everywhere. Like if you guys get a chance to go to a clinic with them or anything, like it's you're not intimidated at all. Like you get to learn from them and they're super down with helping you. So it, it's really fun. Yeah. Who's uh? Let's see. How did how did we become pros? Um, when I was you know 14, 15, 16 years old, I started entering all the local contests and you know just regional contests and started like that. Eventually moving up to nationals and so on and so forth. And you know as you as you did better in contests, you had more exposure and you know eventually moved into the junior tour and onto the pro tour and just it kind of just everything progressed. It, it became real. It's kind of a natural progression from one step to another. It's just lucky to be fortunate enough to keep it keep it flowing through the through the different steps. Favorite people to ride with? Um, all boys here at home. I mean, Jack Watson, all of us on Hi Lake Hiawassee. You know, whether we're heading over to Parks to tell us all the Claremont guys, Parks, Danny, um, Rusty. I mean, it, the the list goes on. It's just, especially when you don't ride with some of the guys for a while and. Then you know, yeah. When I say a while, I mean like a couple of weeks, and you come back out and you're like, really, when did you when did you learn that? Mm -hmm. like, you know, it's it's kind of cool because you haven't seen each other for which is a short time, but you learn your stuff, and yeah, that's when it's fun to ride with your buddies again. When it's the same thing every day, you know what you're gonna do over and over, and so yeah, that's what's really cool about Orlando. Like everyone says, it's like the mecca of wakeboarding, but it really, like everyone's just so close, and there's so many lakes, so there's so many options, and you can ride like anywhere all day. So it's it's really fun here. Do you ride cable much? Yeah, I go to OWC every once in a while. It's pretty fun. I haven't really, I haven't been to any of the other ones like in the Philippines yet. I mean, have you been there? Yeah, yeah I've, I've been. been uh, man, I've been to pretty a lot of them, not all of them, but uh, yeah, cables all around the world. Uh, Philippines, Australia, Singapore, um, Canada. Oh yeah, I've been to Texas ski ramps. Oh yeah, that, really fun. that place is tight. Um, but yeah, I, I, I try and ride, ride cable as much as I can. I mean. OWC is so close, you kind of sometimes forget to go, but then when you go, the place is awesome. You just charge and hit ramps and hit. Mm -hmm. My uh, my cable actual cable tricks have declined over the years. I can still do the really the really mm -hmm. blind, and, <laughs> but none of, none of the stuff I used to be able to. Just not I spent used to spend more time. Uh, let's see. Uh, to prepare for contests, uh, it's just, you know, being out here, being repetitive, you know, having having the set tricks you want for a contest dialed and, you know, have them dialed in spots that you want them. And as far as 
preparing for filming, I mean, staying healthy. I mean, half the time when you're filming, you're trying new stuff and, you know, trying to stay healthy while you're getting broken off, trying to learn the new stuff. Yeah, a lot of the filming, like, is just going out and actually doing it. And, like, once you get a lot of footage, then you can kind of break it down and you, you know what you have. And then you can kind of go from there and you'll go out for specific things. Like, if you have a few tricks or a few, like, stunts you want to do, like, you can go out and specifically get those. So it just kind of takes time to for filming. Let's see. Let me see that one. Yeah. Um, come to Thorpe and UK is best cable for sliders. Have to check that out if we come over for the UK wake stock. Yeah. How many pairs of Oakleys do you have? Uh, quite a few. <laughs> yeah, I pressed record. I think. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it says stop record and record, so. I say nervous before you get to a comp. Yeah, definitely. I mean, over the years it, it gets less and less, but I mean, you get to you get to some heats and you know you watch. It, it gets more nerve wracking a little as you get to the dock. I mean, you'll be second or third or fourth off the dock, and guys will kill it in front of you, and you're like, man, like, gotta gotta stand up, gotta get through this heat. And so I mean, it's almost it's almost sometimes better not to watch the guys in front of you, but you gotta. And, so you know what you have to do. Can you swim? Mm, I have a life jacket. <laughs> uh, let's see. You have to ask. Definitely, I can swim, Jack. I mean, yeah, I can swim. We're in the we're in the water every day, mm -hmm. whether it's you know wakeboarding or just whatever around the water. So yeah, uh, I've only, I've only, actually only know one wakeboarder in uh, since I've been been around wakeboarding that couldn't swim. It was uh, really? it's actually a really funny story. This guy Norm from uh, Washington State. We were out in Jeff Heer's boat, and uh, you know there was me, Scott Joby, I believe Blake, Blake Builders was on the boat, and Norm, and we're all out wakeboarding, and we, we knew that Norm couldn't swim, but I mean he was just in the boat hanging out, and he actually did wakeboard, and all of a sudden the boat breaks down and starts billowing black smoke, and there's flame, and so the boat's on fire. <laughs> So as soon as that happens, all of us just straight out of the boat and are swimming away from the boat because uh, we're young and we're like, boat's going to blow up. And as we start swimming away, we hear Noam. He's like, dude, I can't swim. <laughs> so we had to like swim back to the boat and find him a life jacket. And by then, another boat had came in with a fire extinguisher. And so oh, tell him about, remember when we took Rockweiler and those guys riding and the guy couldn't swim? <laughs> yeah, um, we did an album with uh, Rockweiler, the, the Blue Octane. The and Board the, Beats. Board Beats and... Uh, they came out riding with us, and one of the guys riding, um, I guess, was didn't really swim, but you know we had him in a Coast Guard vest, and you know we we're teaching him how to, teaching him how to ride, and and uh, I was actually on the platform, and he kind of freak was freaking out a bit, and I was trying to help him on the platform, while well, I'm like trying to get him to relax and trying to get him by the back of the vest just to pull him up on the platform. He wasn't sinking by any means, but he'd already hit panic mode. So as I'm trying to pull him out, he's got this grip on me, and he's pulling me, like I'm going to pull him into the water. I'm like, oh, no, I'm going down with him. <laughs> I finally get a, get a good rip and pull him onto the platform. Meanwhile, Rock and everyone's just on the floor of the boat laughing. Yeah, no one was helping. They, but they didn't, they didn't really realize, realize how um, <laughs> it got kind of serious for a minute. And when he got in, he was just, just spooked. He was, he was definitely funny. a little scared. <laughs> Uh, who are they playing? Let's see, Penguins. Right. Oh. I'm definitely a Vancouver fan. Uh, Canucks, they're looking pretty good for the playoffs. Let's see, what is your most favorite trick? And what is the move you like best? Uh, move I like best right now is uh, uh, Melon Roll the Bond. It's just a real fun trick right now. And as far as difficult, mm, just learn that new one that was really cool, the toe side wrap. Oh yeah, yeah. I just learned um, a, a wrapped off axis toe side backside three, and you can grab it on the nose yeah. the whole around. That, that one's fun. Cool. Uh, it's kind of cool because you just float through it. Uh, you guys have to diet or just eat whatever we want. Yeah, I'm on a really strict diet. I um, <laughs> I eat Taco Bell every day, and. There's a place down the street, it's called Taquitos, we eat there for dinner. <laughs> so I'm on the, the strict Mexican food diet right now, <laughs> pretty much every day. Chad eats a lot healthier than I do. I, I mean, I, I try, I mean, you, you you travel a lot, so you definitely don't have the, always have the option, but 
you know, as long as long as you're, you know, staying active, you know, whether it's playing hockey or you you, put, you guys play basketball every day, or yeah. I mean, going to the gym, or I mean, whatever you eat, there's at least you got to balance it out somehow with riding, and mm -hmm. I mean, I know if I wasn't as active, I definitely would eat even better. <laughs> yeah. Where is Watson at? This is typical Watson. He's uh, he's always late for everything. Uh, if you come <laughs> to Orlando, what are some spots you must check out? Uh, definitely OWC, that place. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if you're coming for, to look for a camp or anything, but um, you know Sean's camp's great out there. You got Kyle Rattray and Travis, and that spot's cool to check out. Projects um, is really fun. Yeah, Projects is another amazing spot. Uh, they got a really good rail set, well, and they got sussy tapes there. That place mm -hmm. is actually going off right now. Yeah. Um, Another cool thing to do is at the Florida Mall, they got that flow rider, mm -hmm. like the indoor wave pool. That thing's really fun. Yeah. Let's see. What other pros do you hang with? Um, pretty much, you know, most the, most of the crew. We got all our high Wasi guys, and just Wat <laughs> Watson. He's not here, of course. Um, all the Pointless Boys, Rusty. I mean, it just it's Wakeboard's a real real small community as far as you know all the guys we're at all the events together and everyone lives in Orlando so it's really easy I mean even riding with different guys from day to day so um, what else do you ever go to Quiznos ah from time to time we got the cheap Quiznos now Oh uh, yeah, they, yeah, they the changed quiz. our quiz. They changed our Quiznos to house subs, which is <laughs> kind of like Quiznos, but not really. Um, do we have Mexican food in Orlando? Yeah, we do. Not the. It's not California or actually even West Coast Mexican food, but it's it's decent. It's it's not bad. It's good. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> all right. Uh, do you guys? Bud Light or Molson? Uh, Probably gonna get some crap for probably Bud Light. <laughs> uh, we work on double ups, hit a couple ups every day. Um, as far as double ups, it's for me, it's not an everyday thing, Jack. I mean, I think it's kind of cool because it's it's pretty long and it's got two big open pockets. So usually when riding like on the pockets, you can you can do double ups. So, but mainly like if if Chad's filming or doing photo shoots like specifically for double ups, like it just kind of depends on the day or how you're feeling. Yeah, I mean, if you if you go out and hit, you know, 10, 15 double-ups yesterday, I'm probably not going to hit many double-ups yeah. today, and, you know, maybe in a couple of days, but, I don't know, I'm just trying to maintain the, yeah. <laughs> just trying to maintain, actually, I don't want to get beat up too bad. I was not in town when Danny did the 12, were you? I was driving the boat. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened about... A hundred feet that way, though. Yeah, you can. You, I can hit it. I can hit it with the uh, what pitching wedge. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was literally right here, and yet another another Hiawassee, Hiawassee mm. trick behind my Malibu. Yep. Doing any more work with Justin Stevens? I hope so. That was like one of the best learning experiences I could ever have. Like that was really fun for me. Like just sitting there watching him and learning, and having Justin call me every day and like help me out. Like. That's probably one of the biggest things that happened to me. Like he was definitely a big help, and I, I hope to work with him in the future. Uh, when Danny landed it, um, you could obviously see on his face, and you know he just threw the handle, and within two seconds, my passenger Parks was gone out of the back of the boat, and you know there's a boatload of other boatload of fil filmers, and you know Francois, and I mean we had pretty much had a lot of the crew out there that day when he landed, and and they just the the atmosphere was insane. Everyone was just high fives and. You know, just it was loud for a little while. I mean, probably people around the lake are like, "What? Are, what are these guys doing out here? They're all cheering and <laughs> high fiving and hugging." And <laughs> so that it was a pretty. I was really stoked to be able to see Jack uh, or see see Danny land that twelve. Mm -hmm. um, how many boards do you snap a year? I I usually kind of wear out a board before I, before I snap them. Um, I mean, you get the odd one that. But for the most part, you know, just hitting rails and, you know, breaking edges on bad rails or, you know, that's that's the way I go through most boards. Current boat setup, Chad. Right now I have Malibu VLX, um, white on white. It looks looks really cool. It's uh, got about 3,800 pounds in it and weighs about waist high, so can't complain. It's 
definitely uh, my choice, my choice of boat. Any other questions? No, that's rare you've ever hit. Uh, my, I have a Mastercraft X Star. Uh, I keep it at Chad's house just down the street, but it's the Oakley boat, and uh, it's cool. It's got like a blue and orange like custom wrap on it. And it's all weighted down, so it's really fun. We got you know both of our boats here, and always out on the water, so it's cool. Um, any tips for a seven on the boat? Um, I'd say learn the tow side first. Um, probably an easier way to go. Uh, get your five good. Get make sure your five's not you know charged out into the flats. Make sure it's a real upward pop poppy five. So and make sure you know you're popping it straight up because on the seven you want to come down that second wake. So get used to popping your five wake to wake, but. You know, just a real high upwards pop, and then you know, as you're as you're starting to notice, you're having more time coming down from the five. That's when you just keep keep the shoulders rolling through through the five into seven. Um, question mark. Chad is drinking Arnold Palmer iced tea right now. Well, it's all gone. Oh, it was. <laughs> it's all gone. I didn't have any rock star at Jack's house. Rock stars <laughs> at my house. <laughs> um, Magic or losing? See them play the Cavs the other night, though. That was kind of a blow. Yeah, was kind of uh, is it true? I still, uh, as yeah, I, I think so. I think mm -hmm. it's still valid. Um, Fifty-six frames. Mhm. Mm yeah. Well, uh, Sean, Sean was a couple frames out, or a frame or two mm -hmm. out last year, and uh, I don't know. I, we're gonna hopefully. Oh wow, La uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> better late than never, right? We're here. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's going on? Here? Uh, pull up a chair. I'm sure. I'm sure they have lots of lots of questions for you. So this is basically, this is what they write us, and they can hear us, but we can't, we hear, can't them. hear them. Yeah. What's up? Uh, What's up? Never ever fall on a wake jump. Yeah, <laughs> daily. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> It's not un it's not unusual. Jack, your room looks cute right now. Thanks, man. Very cute right now. <laughs> How do we decide what yeah. boat to take? Well, I mean, we take a nautique whenever we can. Oh, we'll take it easy there, big guy. Yeah, the two thirty. What happened? I put my arm through the handle. What did that happen? And Watson yeah. had uh, questions. What does it say? Starting. So as they come up on the bottom. Okay. Just kind of my eyes, wait, my really eyes are really bad. I was at it was uh it was my girlfriend Leslie's birthday, so or it's tomorrow's her birthday, but we went out to dinner with her parents. There were actually some questions wanting to know if she was coming with you. <laughs> who can who can Ollie the highest? Didn't you um, win the Ollie contest? I did win the Ollie contest. So yeah, so I guess <laughs> he's hold, he's holding the record right now. <laughs> Red Bull Monster and Rockstar are all in the house. Yep, yep. that's a good yeah. point. Yeah. I'll tell her who who is that? Is that uh, uh well see if they have a name if they have an account and the US streamer. I'll yeah. tell her I'll tell her she said half her. She tell her that you I tried talking her into coming but she wouldn't come. Said she was having a bad hair day. <laughs> what, was the, what was the uh, what was the first the first one? Chad, what are you drinking right now? Rockstar. Oh, was a rockstar. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't think she can have a bad hair day. She would win with yeah, a Yeah, I don't think so either. I'm going. I'm going Jack. I got Jack on that fight. Well, I'm not even in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um. Yeah, I'm putting my money on Jack. <laughs> Says who landed the first seven? Didn't you land the first one in competition? Oh, that was a ninth. I think Murray and. Scott did it yeah, the same day. Yeah. Or the same trip. Yeah, Murray and Scott. Well, well, Scott had the one. Yeah, I think Scott landed a 720 before I even started wakeboarding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Who would win? Who would win? Who would win in a fight between you guys? Chad, for sure. I wouldn't want to fight Chad. He's Canadian. Does that mean? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Watson, I love your bindings. When, uh, right when someone's riding my board, how does it feel? Well, it feels pretty good because uh, 
you know. We all design our boards. You know, I get to go in and uh, sit down and with Gene and Redman at Liquid Forest and uh, design, you know, shape our board, you know. Like the first board, uh, well, my first board was a Helix, but the second one was a Substance, and designing that board, it was kind of, uh, you know, I wanted a board that obviously worked well for me, but also a board that anybody can get on and ride and like, and uh, same with the new the new shape, you know, take it a little bit, you know, a step farther, a more aggressive ride, but something that anybody can get on and enjoy, so... Yeah, it feels pretty sweet. What are we doing after the show? Um, I'm going I'm bowling. Going, you're going bowling? Yeah, my brother's in town. We're going bowling, I think. I think yeah. I might go get hammer drunk. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm colonized. It's going to be eight mile an hour winds tomorrow. Nice and calm. Mm, okay. I've been able to ride for a couple of days. you got to keep it edited. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh... What technology? Is, oh, we do. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is that Tony Smith? Where? Maybe that you signed his board two years ago at Brostock, VA. Yeah, are you coming to Brostock yeah. this year? Oh no, that's SML, never mind. Smith Mountain Lake. Let's see. <laughs> Who? You may have a question. Who's a softie? Wait. Watson, do you like coming down to SML for Brostock? I liked it a lot. The first year was, uh, the first year was better, I think, because it was kind of, we got to do our own thing where uh, last year we came out for that event and uh, it was kind of it was kind of controlled by the shop and we didn't really get to run our own show we kind of had to follow around the contest and do all that stuff so we were kind of we weren't really on our own schedule and didn't have as much fun as the first year but you know it's bro stock so we always have fun let's see, see. where's the party tonight do you see do you see shapes and technologies of wakeboards progressing or do you think Plateaued. You know, it seems like every time that you, they kind of seem like they're going to plateau, you know, something new comes out, something different comes out, different, whether it's flex, stiffness, different edge, the, you know, the roll down. I mean, it's it's going to just keep on going. The more, it is still a pretty young sport, and I, I, I believe it's just going to keep changing and keep changing and evolving. Yeah, I think it's going to come to a matter of, you know, there's a lot of the new companies that are coming out with you know the whole flex thing and whatnot so you know there's there's things that that uh there's circumstances where that type of board comes into factor if you're hitting rails or whatnot but you know after testing and stuff like that doesn't really work well off the wake but you know there's a lot of a lot of technology out there that's being used in other brands like snowboarding or other sports like snowboarding and stuff like that that haven't really evolved yet to wakeboarding that uh, I think eventually Will it's just gonna take a matter of time. Uh, what brand of hockey stick do I use? I um I actually I bounce back and forth. I uh, I, I use a Mission or a Bauer. I've been you know kind of in and out of those two sticks. They've been a pretty big fan of both. Who do you like filming the most with, Chad? Um, it's probably Jack. 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 Jack's not yeah, bad. Jack's a good guy to film with. I mean, <laughs> Stakes Stakes has been doing a good job, but yeah, lately. Lately, me and Chad have been mm-hmm. filming with uh, Staker, Matt Staker, the most for the for the Out of the Pond movie. So maybe premiering in the town near you, yeah. pretty pretty quick. I'd say probably one of my most. I'm sure a lot of people like most all time favorite person to film would probably be Justin Stevens, just because he's got such a passion for it. I mean, Jack does too, but just with all the, he's really got experience with a lot of the slow mo and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, do you switch up board lengths frequently? I wouldn't say frequently, but from time to time. Um, I've actually uh, ridden my 44 more than a, more than ever, switching back mm-hmm. and forth. Uh, I ride my 40 now, but the 44 is fun to ride. It's, it's real soft landings. Definitely when I'm using my uh, the ramp out back, I love even using the 44. It's just a little extra on the landings. Yeah, I just stick with my 38. It's, it's good for me. Unless I feel fat one day, I might ride the 42. How does it feel to put be put down as a legend of wakeboarding? Probably makes you guys feel old. <laughs> no, it makes me feel old. I mean, I mean if you could almost ask that same question to Chad, because I remember when me and, you know, when I first started wakeboarding down in West Palm, Chad was down there at the same time. We kind of grew up riding together, so, you know, if anything, you could probably ask both of us that, but... Um, Dude, that was, think about how long ago Yeah, was. I mean, this, is, this year on tour is going to be my 10th year as a, as a pro. 
So, so uh, you know, and I was riding junior men's and stuff like that before that. So it's been, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely been a pretty freaking long time, that's for sure. Jack, what's one of the coolest things about working for Oakley? Um, the coolest thing, like, just like traveling a ton, like, throughout the movie and, and just with the company, like, I've, I've gone to some really cool places and done some really fun things, like, all of our trips, and not just for the movie, but, like, we've had our photo shoot, like, in the Keys, and, like, we just get to go to some really cool places, and then Oakley's just fun in general, like, even going out to the factory, like, it's just, it's just a really cool company to be with. Watson, uh, grind base or not? Um... Grind base or not? Um, it kind of depends on what I'm doing. Um, like in a contest, I'll probably ride my normal board because I want more grip. Where the the grind base, you know, when it has that, it's got such that strong base that's really good on rails, but it kind of kind of takes down the fins a little bit, so the fins aren't as sharp as what I'd like to be. You know, if I'm going to go out there and do all my, you know all my hammer tricks, I want a little bit more grip. So it kind of just depends, you know, if I'm if I'm going to the cable or going to do a rail event, then I'd like to ride the grind base or even the new press board. So, and then someone just asked about the flyboard. Um, I'll get back to the other questions before that, but the flyboard's sick just because, uh, you know, it rides the same as my normal board, except it's just, you know, two pounds lighter or what whatnot. It, uh, it just, you know, it's a lot, it feels a lot faster, and it feels like it rides a lot higher on the water, I guess, just because there's, you know, obviously the less dense material of it. Yeah. And on, on mine, um, CSV2 or Viva, um, definitely I've been riding the CSV2 a lot more. It's just, it's got that little extra weight in it. It's a little stiffer, which makes it a little poppier. I mean, I still ride the Viva, but if I, honestly, if I have to go ride tomorrow and I have two sitting in front of me, I'm going to ride my V2. But they, you know they both ride really good, and you know just that little that little extra stiff stiffness gives that little extra liveliness off the wake. Um, but lighter Canadian beer, <laughs> I like Moosehead. Moosehead. Moosehead's pretty good. Um, How come you've had that question US, like five times? US <laughs> Canadian. Uh, US streamer. Um, the he won with 38 limited last year. That's sick, dude. There's only very few of those. Um, I've actually never had a chance to make board done that before. Um, we we made a trip out to Dubai, and that's where you know our boards all are made in the United Arab Emirates. And um, we went to the factory, and the way that board was made that year, um, you know, is this you know the, there's the graphic, the clear sheet of graphic with the had the carbon X and the graphic in there, but the white behind that that's just the you know. They put a, uh, um, but what we did is they just took, you know, they they put a layer of paint back and forth on the before they run the the sheet of graphic down there. So I would just take the graphic, the top sheet graphic, and just uh, I had like green and yellow paint on my hands and just place it where I wanted it. And some of the ones where I, um, you know, some of the boards have like my initials like S W. It was actually really hard because I actually had to write the S and the W, you know, upside down to make it when it's flipped upside on, like when it's flipped backwards on the graphic, it, uh, it's, it's really weird, really weird. But, um, yeah, I've only made a few of those and there probably won't be very many more made, so. That board is cool. You have the one hanging up that you yeah, have on the one. Yeah, I've got one on the car. Yeah, there are some other ones, too. Some, some, there was other ones that made that never made it out to the public that are pretty sick, so. Jack, you got anything cool in the yeah, house? Yeah, you asked if I had anything cool in my house, and Chad went and grabbed this. This is actually really special to me. It's a trophy from 1992 soccer. Pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> my award. Keep it right uh, next to my bed. How is the, uh, how's the, how's the pond been? Uh, it's, we're pretty much wrapped. I mean, we're done filming. Uh, we haven't really had a chance to see all the editing, editing or anything yet, but... Uh, I have. Uh, Yours yeah. is pretty sweet. Cool. So well, I guess I guess it's pretty sweet. So yes. I mean, I can't I can't wait to see it. I know I know just the trips alone that we've been on and the footage we've got is with all that put together. It, there's no I don't think there's any way it can't be sweet. But and I'm just really looking forward to premiere season and you know getting to go show it around the country and have a good time with the boys. And so uh, I hope everyone's stoked on it. When will, when will we go to the cable next? Mm, a bunch of the boys were there today. Yeah. 
Um, uh, there's no wind tomorrow. I'm going to be here. Cable gets kind of boring. It's fun to go if you want to practice on rails or whatnot, but it gets boring after a while doing laps around the same place over and over and over. So, it's not bad. Are you guys ever going to bring your boards on Stoke meter and talk about what Stoke is? This is the oh, yeah, 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 yeah we, can, sure. we can do some videos and talk about the boards for sure. Who's your favorite old timer pro? Byerly. Mm, Jeff here, Byerly. Byerly, um, Wayne oh, well. um, Steve Young was my favorite quarterback growing up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. What's well, the only thing you make the board? Um, does this story have a point? <laughs> <Full story. laughs> I don't know. Do you guys shoot with Aaron? Kate? Yeah, we've been shooting a lot with Aaron lately. He's been really fun to shoot with. Does some good stuff too. Yeah, I've been with Kate and pretty much constantly Wait, lately. Someone, how do you go back up to? Because someone just said like goosecock or something. How do you go back to? That's yeah, where you're going to get goosecock tonight. Oh. Um, yeah, Caden's Caden's amazing. He's getting he's you know he's getting really good at shooting and I mean he's always up for you know whatever trip or you know for that especially for that texas thing i called him the day before i'm like hey i'm driving to texas tomorrow you want to go all right i'm in like he's yeah. you know and his shots are, you're definitely seeing him everywhere so it's it's pro get, being proven that he's a really good photographer and uh let's see thanks for taking the time to yeah no worries eight three one eight nine about making my <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what grade level do you read <laughs> Dude, I'm not, I, think like, I, I think i need glasses <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Cable looks boring, yep, it is for sure, after a while. But the, the, uh, the, uh, the new Sassy Tech 2.0 makes cable writing a lot better because you can take it anywhere. And, like, this, this past weekend that in, uh, Phoenix for the Red Bull event was, uh, was pretty insane. That was Dunbar's question. <laughs> that was Jesse? Yeah. Yeah, Tony. Tony on here? Tony Smith is playing online poker. Is Kate on here too? Watson, yeah. what's your favorite section, writer and film? Hmm. That's a good question. Recent or old, I guess. I don't know. Um, writer and film. So that's obviously not my favorite section of myself. <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> um, what, what would be a... Probably the best section. You're asking us it's for you. I don't know. There's, there's been a lot of good ones. There's been a lot of bad ones. Yeah, there's... I mean, it's all personal preference. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like... Probably, probably like, one of my favorite sections would probably be, like, from back in the day. Like, you know, like, May Day sections of, like, Byerly and those guys from, you know... It's funny looking back at, like, old footage of, like, Byerly um, from, like, Hit It and whatnot. I don't know if even you guys have even seen those videos, but there's there's footage of like Byerly doing tricks that a lot of the guys are, you know, doing these days, but back off of a wake that was only, you know, yeah, it's this big. Uh, we had a, a similar question earlier, and was, like one of my favorite was um, Byerly and um, High Wake Drifters. You know, he was doing it, grab tension of lines off the yeah. and yeah. peak, grab peaks. And Take talking out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On that on that old blue board. Could you yeah. imagine doing the tricks? Well, the those tricks boards used to be just flat, yeah. like no rock I, whatsoever. Like doing the tricks he was doing back then, on, like right now the tricks you do on a board like that. Like it's come such a long way. And I guess that go, kind of goes Tony. back to the board pr progression. Tony wants to know what our deeper secret is. <laughs> Jack, do you have a girlfriend? No, no girlfriend. No girlfriend. Jack has girlfriends. Sometimes yeah. at night. <laughs> you guys all Facebook addict, Facebook addicts. Uh, I'm more of a MySpace addict than if like uh, Facebook. I mean, I'm I on check it. I check mine occasionally. I'm on it. What's our, What's your favorite trick, Chad? My favorite trick. Um, favorite trick to do right now is a melon roll the blind. It just kind of feels cool. Is that right, Garrett? Melon. Selfish melon. How do you do it? Yeah. Well, whichever. Backhand, backhand grabbed. Mine's definitely a straight out, just laid out Rayleigh. That's my favorite trick. Mm -hmm. To blind sometimes, you know. What's your deepest you secret? Uh, I have one. It could be a secret, but. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, kind of, it blows the whole point of. <laughs> of do, we, do we ever go out and just on the lake and drink beer and relax? 
All work, no play. I'd yeah. say I. It depends. On the weekend, maybe here, but there's time like when we're in Lake Powell for the photo shoot. Like we go out there every year for looking for photo shoot, and whatnot. Uh, that definitely. That's that's kind of the only thing we do. You know, we go out and ride in the morning, and then the rest of the time we're just out there drinking beer, doing beer bongs, and and uh, being the average Joe. Definitely come across a few birthday parties out here. Yeah. So, well, I mean, we'll yeah. tie up tie up a bunch of floats and. Yeah, we missed the best one of the year. Shane's birthday was on Saturday, but everyone was at Lake Labs. No, no, no. You know what they're actually doing is they're doing a group one for all the guys, oh, nice. like Ruck and all the guys having. So there is actually coming. There we go. Yeah, That's good. It is coming. Hey guys, I'm trying to build a cable park in Canada. Just one of the tricks these days. Twice. So yeah, I mean, if, if you're twice is building a cable park, the best way would be. Find a location and get a proposal, and then contact the people. That's awesome. Yeah, so I mean, try and get a hold of Pat Pat Panacos and mm -hmm. then with Tech. I mean, they they have the cable systems, and I mean, um, they'd be good guys. Oh, twice as good. Ever kissed a man? <laughs> uh, I, I'm starting, I to, see, I'm starting to see more of our friends have been showing up. <laughs> yeah, I remember Project Walks, and or did you have a good time making the film? Yeah, that was good. It was kind of. It was kind of weird, you know, I wasn't too sure about making that video back when we did, because, you know, I was still a rookie, I mean, that was almost, uh, a long time ago. Yeah. And that was, yeah, six, seven years ago, probably more than that when we did that, but, um, you know, it was definitely fun, just because there really wasn't a video like that of in wakeboarding at the time, but, uh, yeah, I had a great time doing it, you know, I was, I was traveling to, uh, New Zealand, and... Australia and all over the place. And, so know, what's a fav favorite place in the world to favorite place to travel to and favorite place place to ride? Um, had some great trips to Australia. Got to check out Switzerland. That was pretty cool. I mean, definitely some of the Asian countries. But as far as favorite place to ride, uh, ten feet that way. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> a nice place. No, uh, no sea walls, no traffic. Only thing that sucks about here is if it's windy. Yeah, but it's windy, then we're pretty much screwed. But even even then, I mean, there you can still ride a lot. What's your favorite place? Have you been there? I, yeah, I mean, I've been to too many. I mean, we, you know, I I love going out to Powell every year, especially like last year was probably one of our best uh, conditions. Like you know, we we go way up river and get glass, like you know, be out there super early, but get glassy conditions every day, and it's just kind of surreal being out there because it's. Like, you know, you feel like you're on another planet. Um, but there's a lot of other sick places. But like Chad said, I mean, there's nothing like being able to ride behind your own boat, you know, way the way you want it. And uh, just being at home and riding. See a feet on fire question here. I mean, can't, I, I can't just, wait. I just learned to barefoot this year. I'm ready. Jack, Jack's actually been training all <laughs> yeah. winter long. I mean, we'll, we'll be sitting around and he'll be like, hey, you want to go barefoot? I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad Leslie's not here. <laughs> you see that car? I know. <laughs> Walks in her story that you hooked up with a chick at Bro's talking as well. First time you came down, is that true? That's uh, not true. <laughs> It wasn't the first. It wasn't the first time. It was the second time, but uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. barefooting's fun. I don't remember. <laughs> Nicola Butler. Who was, who's, yeah. Um, who's your favorite chick rider? I'm not answering that Emily question Copeland. about a man. Of course, I've never kissed a man. Emily Copeland is probably my favorite. Favorite woman's rider. Uh, feet on fire, best time of this year. Argu arguably, it's, what do it's you, a good one. What do you think? What's the best? I should ask him a question. Hey, the, the label board question, uh, that's fun. about a year ago, I ended up buying one of my, uh, I think it might have been one of my old boards, but the old board I used to ride for label at, uh, what is that place called? Play it against sports for 30 bucks. <laughs> that was a steal. <laughs> uh, Let's see. There's a, I didn't, what do you mean S-Bend? S-Rail? What's your favorite rail to hit S bin? Oh, that's rail. Means that's rail. Yeah, that's rail. What does it take to get the opportunity uh, to film pro riders, video section, stuff like that? Um, I just did it like I didn't even know the guys. Like I, I would sneak up behind the lake and start filming them, and and I just kind of got closer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean just coming up with an idea and and approaching them. They're all pretty easy to work with, but I mean you just gotta have a good idea, and and if they like it, they're they're always down to to ride and stuff, so it's just kind of the way you approach it. Uh, any old boards they can buy from me? Uh, 
can't do it. I, um, new Ronick stuff's amazing. Jack Should rides. Look at some new stuff. Jack rides his own board. Do you have yeah, your board in here? Where's your board at? Yeah. In my house. <laughs> yeah, let's take this off the wall. Right? What board does Jack ride? I uh, ride. Did that come off? Uh, my board, the J Star Vanity, uh, in the Vanity Boots. Just came out this year. Here's Stevie. Whoa! That was Jack. <laughs> that was <weird. laughs> That's uh, that's Jack's board right there. You see him? Yep. Uh, the speakers are kind of dim. Oh. Yeah, last one just broke the wall. <laughs> You might have seven years, buddy. No, it didn't shatter. Seven years to shatter. Alright, what are we... Okay, now let's see here. Boys, there with you. I got a bunch of boys in the garage, but... Was that the trophy? <laughs> yeah, the big trophy. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, that was actually a mirror boat. Mm. Jack has a mirror behind his computer. I drive... I have a mini... Little tiny 50 blue camo four wheeler. I drive that to Chad and Watson's every day. Jack's got a Mini Cooper. That's how I that's how I get around here. Chad's got a little 50 and Watson's got a little 50 too. Yeah. That, those are our rides. Yeah. Keep us around the neighborhood. I've got a I've got a Huffy. Huffy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jack. Me and Jack both drive. Uh, the same both, we both drive caddies, <laughs> but I've also got a truck too. And Chad's got a truck. He's got a. Chad drives a diesel. Yeah, I drive a Ford F-250. Looking for a Dodge, though, I think. Any of you any of you have your boards there with you? No. I have one of mine on your wall. Yeah, I got, on my garage, I got everyone's board hung up. It's pretty cool. There's like 15 boards from like all the contests they did. Would you guys wear a Snuggle? Snuggie, but oh, that's that a rope thing. My eyes are really bad. Um, what the hell is Snuggie? Yeah, Parks absolutely killed it at Weight Club. You guys, you guys really good weight for her. He, he did well. Are there action sports? I, I go home to Oregon every winter and I snowboard then. And uh, these guys surf a little bit. I don't really surf that much, but Watson yeah. does. Yeah, I'd say that. snowboards. I like, to, I like to surf, but I like to golf a lot yeah, too, but that's not really an action sport. Really yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's golf and hockey. And that's just more of a Speaking of golf, it, can we tell them about Danny's golfing? Oh, Danny Harf, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if we're supposed to break this out. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Are we? I don't know. What is, is he keep keeping it hot secret for? Maybe he's trying to go pro. I don't think he's yeah. keeping a secret. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I wouldn't keep that a secret. Danny hit a, what, a 300... Par 4. Par 4, 310 yard hole in one the other day. Yeah, like a week ago. Dropped in the cup, thought he lost his ball, it was in the bottom of the hole. Hmm. Who does most of the cooking around there? How many golf balls are in Chris and around? Chris cooks all my food. Um, Chad cooks all my food. There are millions of golf balls in and around Radar. They're the whole bottom of the lake is full of golf balls. We've actually been stacking them up here. That one of Chad's friends works at a golf course here, and he brings us over boxes and boxes of, of uh, golf balls. Yeah, you just look off the end of my dock, and it's just you can see golf balls everywhere. They don't let me hit them, though, because I hit them. How many so golf balls are in and around Radar? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Right. You get right, <laughs> like, I was reading. <laughs> I've got ADD. Anybody can tell. If you go there out there this time of year, like the water's like still like super clear because there haven't been boats running or turning up anything, and you look at the bottom and there's just pockets of like hundreds of balls every every which direction you look. We'll get we'll get Danny and Parks up here one day. Yeah, yeah. If they ever answer the phone. <laughs> um, what's your favorite TV show? My my new favorite TV show is. Um, um, okay. that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, Entourage. I've kind of been getting into Dexter lately. Um, I like the office. Kind of twisted. And he's found down. Yeah, he's found down. down. He's found down. I was gonna say that's probably definitely my favorite uh, favorite TV show right now. I got like the half base on this thing. Yeah. I go like this. Can you jack it? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Anyone here from Colin Wright? Is he still alive? I have not heard from Colin in a while. See the gas stop. The traffic cabs have one. I'm pretty sure Chad if the cab driver stops for gas, should you get a discount on the fare? Yeah, did you see Parks in the Nitro Circus last night? Definitely you should get a discount on the fare. Uh, what else? Do you guys like format? Yeah, this is awesome. 
Yeah, this is. I think Lyman did one last week, and uh, did Caden say he's doing one tomorrow? Yeah, night? Caden's doing one tomorrow. Night. And Caden will be on here, so this is really cool. No, it's it's tight. We were just we all live in the same neighborhood. Jack told us to come over, and we're in here. Current boat set up. What's oh my current boat set up? I've got a I've yeah, got I'm a have them too. My uh my current boat set was a uh, two thirty, loaded. I don't even know how many. I've got probably eight fat sacks in there and lead and too much, but the boat jumps up on plane. Step up? What? I'm going to heckle King tomorrow night. Try to leave. Set up the lift if it comes off. Is that the same boat Emily rides? Step up. Oh, uh, yeah. Um... It oh. probably, I'm sure it's the same boat Emily rides. Yeah, I mean she's uh, w- most most all the Nautique team riders got two thirties unless they don't. They probably have a two ten. Dude, did you see this question right here? Was, Chad, have you ever paid more than fifteen bucks for a chicken sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> At the hotel last weekend, I had a chicken sandwich and it was seventeen bucks and I'm not stoked. Uh, my friend Ricky lives with me. He's with me for like two years. He's uh, here from Orlando. Only like Black Week quarter. Uh, Sarah Klein was pretty sweet. Uh, was the hottest girl in the wedding. Probably Sarah Klein, probably the hottest. Nicola Huntridge, uh, um, Batman. No, what's her face from uh, England? Yeah, that's very true. I am a neat freak. Chad who lives with Yeah, me. Will Christian. That's what I was Will talking Christian. about. Good, good yeah, call. Well. Um, Chad who lives with me. Um, Brett Hargrave, he's the Ronix rep for the Southeast. Really good guy, awesome roommate. Wow, a lot of little Christian fans. <laughs> <laughs> no, <he didn't>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd say she's probably one of the yeah, and then Chris has Chad just moved in with you. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever met Will. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. You guys affected by What's wrong with the economy? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, everyone, everyone is. Yeah, I'd say, uh, I'd say the biggest effect I've seen on the economy is, like, with royalties, because, like, you know, I'm sure Chad does, too. Like, if, you know, I get royalties on, um, you know, every board and all, like, pretty much all the product that has my name on it, we get a royalty check on. And, you know, I've definitely seen a difference from... You know, last year's 2008 versus 2007 and 2006. So that's the biggest effect I've seen. But also, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of guys, you know, like I ride for Nautiques and they're still doing pretty good. But other spawn, other boats like uh, you know, Taiga and um, you know, I know Mastercraft's doing really bad right now. I don't know how what Malibu's situation is, but. Mastercraft's doing better. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, all, just, it's all gonna come around. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll come it's around. I mean, it's the same thing with kind of any any industry in in the world, you know, sports or whatever. Everything is gonna feel the effects right now. Nobody can afford to go out and spend a hundred thousand dollars on a boat. Does your girlfriend wakeboard? Aren't you doing the? No, she likes to come. She likes to come out and hang hmm? out on the boat. Aren't you doing your clinics with Brett this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, where did I say that? Yeah. Tell them. Says if you're going on the road. Um, yeah, yeah I'm uh, clinics, yeah I'm doing yeah. my Ronix clinics with uh, Brett throughout throughout the southeast. Um, each each Ronix rider is going with a different rep and uh, pretty much charging for you know ten days, two weeks, and you know hitting shops and hitting clinics and so uh, yeah at, all, at one given point you know there's going to be a Ronix clinic in towns all across the U S. So I'm looking forward to that this year. Kind of psyched doing the southeast. I've never done any you know many clinics down there. And, See some cool spots. So I'll give you a roll to check for my board. Just gotta, just gotta help me sell more. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, my girlfriend doesn't board. I've taken her out a few times, but she just likes to cut me out of the boat. That's for sure. Time to buy a few of all your boards. Then. That's for sure. Show. Show. Cool, man. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. We're done. Right. Yeah, definitely. Thanks. So we had a really good time on here. Um, was, uh, Wait, there's still more questions. So who pays for your gas? Does sponsors pay for it? No. 
No. I wish I had a gas sponsor, but who's gonna sponsor her? Everybody's gonna buy gas, so. Yeah. Bad thing though, I'm a life I'm a pro. Back, I mean, at a, last summer there was there was a point in the gas Race prices Race that track. we were paying, you know, 70, 80 bucks a day to ride a person. Like, yeah. You ride three, four times and you're 60 bucks deep. Yeah, yeah. it would cost, yeah, because you figure, the way we kind of figure with all the weight in the boat, it's about five gallons a set and um at yeah, one point five gallons was 20 bucks so it cost you 20 dollars to go wakeboard for a half hour you definitely uh <laughs> definitely made sure you took got the most out of your set for 20 dollars <laughs> jack what's your background picture on your iphone probably for the poster red bull it's not on with his logo i got all kinds of stuff on my phone my phone's hey, beat up oh, jack. All right, sorry. um I might go up. I might go to that New Jersey Wake Fest. Jeff Barton called me the other day about it. I might do that this summer. That's in Northeast, isn't it? We <laughs> want to do a clinic. He wants to do a clinic. We would want. We would want to do a clinic. Uh, are you going to have Stokenet or Broke for you guys like they do Lima? I don't really know what that even means. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. Uh, Lyman does some clinics and they, uh, uh, they help them set it up. I get it. I got it. And you guys got any good jokes to tell? So, what's the background picture on your ears? It's Leslie. There we go. Do you guys Twitter? I've never, I've never Twittered. What's a Twitter? What's Twitter? Holy smoke! <laughs> what's tw- what is Twitter? Yeah. Anyone? Know what Twitter is? It's um, I'm not really sure what it exactly does. It's like my spacing, I think, but it's, I don't know, I'm sure these guys know more. Twitter? I don't know. It's a status update site, that's what it is. It's Twitter. Yeah, see, it's, it's like Facebook and MySpace. Is, it, is, part of, is it part of Facebook? No, it's its own little thing. Oh, okay. Well, Will there be parties in every city you show out of the pond, every party center I'm going to? Um, well, I don't know if... Well, every ride, like, they'll, they're going to try to have a rider at every, uh, at every out of the pond, but, or premiere, but it's going to kind of be hard, because, especially during the season, like, they're going to premiere, like, every tour stop that we go to, they're going to premiere it, um, and there'll also be other ones, but I there's think just so, there's so much going on that it's going to be hard yeah. to get. I think you'll get, you probably won't get the whole team at everyone, no. but you'll get, you know, you may get a couple of the guys, or, you know, it, Guys will be split up through different premieres through across the, across the country. And you play hockey on Thursday? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, as long as it's not, well, we'll we'll see how the weather goes. If the weather gets really good, I won't play. But if uh, have you ever snapped a bird aboard on the first ride on the board? Um, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it depends. Probably. <clears throat> not production boards. Like yeah. if we're if I'm testing a board like a different core yeah, or whatnot, I've I've I've, I've, uh, I've snapped it on the first yeah, trick before. Trying special layup boards. Yeah. Or, I mean, never something out of a package. Yeah. But I used to wake skate. Uh, I used to wake skate a lot more than. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that I don't know who that is, but the toast had rolled a reaver in Dubai. Yeah, I remember that one. That was a. Uh, that was a very good instance. I was testing a board while in Dubai, with like a one of our um, like the new fly cores that we're testing, and it was way too fly. <laughs> <laughs> it broke. Um, but yeah, I used to. I don't know you guys. I used to wake skate all the time. I kind of uh-huh. stopped. I kind of stopped. You know, the past couple of years. I mean, I still do it once in a while, but um, yeah, it just always kind of seemed to hurt myself. Like not even doing the splits or ankles whatnot so not even as close to as much as anymore as yeah. it used to like in one of my sections um like in boombox justin Siemens movie i had like you know i fell in wake skating i had like probably four or five shots just from wake skating i gotta wait i gotta wait to wake shove in an old video did you yeah me and danny me and danny used to have have bets <laughs> whoever we could just get 10 tries and whoever could get the most wake to wake shoves who was my first sponsor and when um, I want to say my first sponsor was Liquid Force. I've been riding for Liquid Force since '97, so 
12 years. Um, Dragon, I was kind of on like a, even before that I was kind of on like a, just uh, just product with uh, with Dragon sunglasses, but, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, let's see, those are my first two. And um, Watson was the carnival, your best one ever. It's definitely one of the best. Um, just probably probably one of the hardest uh, hardest contests like I've ever had to work for. Just because it's you know come starting out from the bottom, like you know you have to work. You wouldn't think that that would be such a hard event, but um, there's so many rails like in a row, and you really have no time to breathe. So you're just kind of going back and forth, back and forth, and you, you know, by the time you get back in after a five-minute run, mm -hmm. you pretty much want to puke. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. So, but yeah, to win that, you know, because it's only, the title's only been held by Byerly and Parks, and to go against Parks is one of the best r rail riders of, you know, of all time. Um, you know, it was kind of, kind of crazy to go against him, because, you know, he, he def, you know, he's already seated the ride against the uh, whoever makes it, who pretty much already wins the contest because they have to beat everybody to go ride against Parks, which I did last year, and yeah. to go ride against Parks when he is on fire yeah. makes it pretty hard. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I was stoked. Does is a large part of our gas? Oh, yeah. has, anyone, has anyone ever tried to recruit awesome. any? Like, tried to recruit any cool, man. to another company? Yeah. For um, sure. Well. Yeah. It all always happens. Yeah. You know, Chad went from Hyperlight to Ronix. Um, you know, I was kind of on the bubble beginning of uh, last year on what I was going to do, but stuck with Liquid Force. So, yeah. yeah. Um, favorite wake skater? I mean, it's like trying to pick out your friends, but I mean, like, yeah. I mean, Grubby's sick, Reed Hansen, BT. I mean, there's, the list goes on. I mean, oh, it depends on what you would do. Those guys like Grubby that kill it on the wake yeah probably the best wake rider but then there's guys that are way more tech like guys like Ben Haran Nick Taylor that and, Reed. Uh, Reed Hansen Aaron Reed like just crazy guys that are just doing crazy tricks that you never thought that could be possible on a wake skate but they're doing it so uh, a large um, large part of our income. income goes to gas yes definitely I mean it's you can not use, yeah you can like kind of we talked about that on before 40 minutes ago but uh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I probably spend, you know, doing taxes this year. I was looking, I, I probably spend close to ten grand on gas a year. What's so the, what's a wheel out in? Yeah, what's a wheel out in? What's your Chad? What's your hardest fall ever? <laughs> uh, in that movie we just watched. It. Dude, I took actually. I'm, I I don't know. I can't really think of ever, but I'd say definitely two of the hardest ones I've taken in a while was last week. I was out just out on the lake and I took two in about three tricks and one was catching my tip on top. Hey, top you guys want to see Chad's background image? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, that's that's right. Can I see it? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, Chad? My girlfriend. Uh, biggest mistakes you see amateurs do. Um, I'd say biggest mistake is just people's edge control. Like, Anytime I ever do clinics or see people riding, it's um, mostly mostly they're edging the wake. A lot of people, will, you know, just to do a wake jump, will cut out as far as they can outside the boat, and then and cut in and uh, you know they'll cut as hard as they can. And as soon as they get to the wake, they flatten off and you know tend to like kind of go out the front or just totally get whacked out in the air. You know, you could do a wake jump and cut out three or four feet out next to the wake. As long as you edge hard through the wake and you know have the proper edge, you can make it across the wake. So I think it's mostly uh, mostly just people's edge control is the biggest mistake I see people have. Who's the biggest? Uh, who's the who's big up in Moscow? Who's the big? Who is it true that your billabong team manager is the biggest bluffer? Half is a bluffer. Yeah, he's definitely uh, a bluffer. Yeah, bluffer. <laughs> mm. uh, what do you, what do would you do if you weren't a pro? I don't know what I'd do. I'd, uh, I'd, uh, I don't know what I'd do. Who knows? I think you should try and get sponsored by a racetrack. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Hey, send them my way. I'll ride for them. <laughs> How do you keep your knees in shape? Um, 
just you know stay active play you know play hockey play basketball yeah. I and mean, go to the go to the gym I mean any any activity that you use in your legs at like a lot I mean is going to strengthen them and uh, if you, know. you want to know a way I guess to keep your knees in shape or to not hurt your knees really I mean I think you know you kind of learn from crashing you know you look at knock on wood for somebody like Chad but I know I mean I know you probably kind of tweak your knee but Chad's never ever had to have surgery on his knees or anything and you would think he's probably the first person of anybody to have knee problems because how big he goes and how hard he lands but Chad just knows you know if you're gonna take a if you're going big or you're gonna land weird like don't land straight legged whatever you do you know you always want to absorb it take take your most of your impact like in your yeah. like in your hips and Take, yeah. yeah, take a lot of times too. You'll just watch it, and you know it's not going to go right, and just take the hit. Yeah, I mean, don't don't try to land it. <laughs> yeah, take, it's 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 better to be winded or wheezing in the water than holding your knee and taking six months off. Yeah, we have just Xbox, and I beat Chad every time in who's NBA. The biggest, who's the biggest wheel? The biggest wheel who can pick up the most girls in the weekend? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We just, me and Chad just got Wii Fitness too. Yeah, we got Wii Fitness. Uh, yes, two days yeah, ago. Two days so ago. Yeah, been, that's that's, that's how we keep our knees in shape. Yeah. Wii Fitness. Uh, how do you feel? How do you deal with difficult people? What does that mean? Dealing with difficult people. How do you deal with difficult people? What's to, uh, mm -hmm. Like my just my neighbor. My name was a difficult <laughs> person. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even deal with them. You just kind of censor them out, I guess. Yeah. Just, you know, deal with them and try to get them. Whoa, Jack, what's up with me? It's from the broken mirror that you dropped. <laughs> <laughs> How's the filming coming? Um, I don't have any new, like, well, I might have some new projects, but what, what I've been working on lately is just, like, a lot of web video stuff for JSTAR and Oakley and Mastercraft and just trying to film and keep the sites updated and stuff like that. So I've just been mainly doing web stuff lately. Um, yes, boards. we all we all have we all have X Xbox consoles. We're, yeah. Mine, mine's broken. Yours broken. Mine's, uh, oh, they have broken. Jam. They have broken ones, but we have, oh, we have one at my house. Who do you think is the next up and coming writer? Uh, I don't know. I I'd say probably one of the guys that I and he's actually got. It's kind of funny because he's got it up and coming in both Alliance and Wakeboard Magazine, the newest issues. But uh, Jeff Langley. Um, oh yeah, I can rip. Yeah, he's. Uh, I've been riding with him for the past. He's come over a couple times. Like he lives with uh, Colin Harrington and Clay right now. But uh, he. Uh, Did you see the footage the other day? I think I think they're really good too. Double up, double up, regular mopes. Really? No, I haven't. Yeah, they're like twenty feet high. The kids just got like Sega style. Um, you know, it kind of looks like a, I don't know, like always just basic tricks that he does. Like everything's style and poked and like just really good. It's good to see for up and comers. Have you guys ever been shared with Ruckus? No, I uh, don't think I've. Yeah, I've been there. I actually drove back from California. I, I brought my uh, the Oakley truck and the Oakley boat back home from California. We did some stuff out there for the premiere. And I broke down, like, I was with George Daniels, and I broke down, like, 30 minutes outside of Ruckus at, like, 2 in the morning. And we called Chip, and uh, he was mad at us because we didn't call him. We got there, but we were trying to race home. And so he came, picked us up, and uh, took us wakeboarding for the next couple of days, took us to his shop. It was really fun. I want to go back there. They got some cool stuff there. And he gave me a cool pair of shoes. <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah, any questions? other questions? Any other I'm questions about to go get going? Bowl of 300. Can you go bowl of where? John, can we go? Where is that, dude? I think we're actually, I think that might be it. Right? I think somebody called us. Hey, yeah, thank you guys. Thanks everyone yeah, for boys. tuning in. Um, yes. Thanks for having us. That was a Watch, give your girl a BD. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you guys all said happy birthday. Yeah, thank you guys. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see you at Carolina Water Sports on site. We can do this again. I don't know it's that time, but maybe in like a few weeks or something we can all sit down. But just talk to the Stoke Meter guys and we'll try to get back on here. Yeah, let us know. Later, dudes. Later. Later.